On September 27, 2023, Iran announced that it has successfully deployed their third domestically produced military satellite into orbit. The satellite, known as Nur-3, or Light-3 in Persian, was launched from a confidential site within Iran using the domestically manufactured three-stage cassette rocket. This achievement represents the third successful launch in a series that commenced in 2020 with Nur-1. Initial reports regarding the launch came from Iranian state media, and confirmation was later provided by the US Space Force too. So, in this video, we'll take a closer look at Iran's newer class satellites and explore how they might impact both regional and global security. The newer satellites belong to the Iranian class of Earth Imaging CubeSat miniaturized satellites. CubeSats are typically 10 cubic centimeters and have a maximum mass of 2 kilograms. They commonly utilize commercial off-the-shelf components for their electronics and structure. The first version of the newer series was successfully launched in April 2020, ascending to an orbit 425 kilometers above the Earth. This event marked Iran's first successful deployment of its maiden military reconnaissance satellite after a series of prior unsuccessful attempts. Subsequently, the second version of the satellite, using a mixed fuel carrier, reached a low orbit of 500 kilometers in early 2022. The newer 3 was positioned in an orbit approximately 450 kilometers above Earth's surface and, like other satellites from the class, was taken to space using a cassette rocket, meaning a messenger in Persian. This rocket, also a product of Iranian domestic manufacturing, is an expendable small-lift orbital space launch vehicle. Leave a comment below if you would like to see an in-depth video on the cassette rocket. The first satellite re-entered Earth's atmosphere in April 2022, but Newer 2 continues to be an active service. This has given rise to the idea that when Newer 3 becomes fully operational, there could be a possibility of them working in tandem. But how are Earth imaging satellites relevant to military applications? While all three newer satellites belong to the category of Iranian military Earth imaging CubeSats, what sets the newer satellite program apart is that it was developed and launched by the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, the primary multi-service branch of the Iranian Armed Forces, rather than the Iranian Space Agency. Iran has asserted its intention to employ newer class satellites for non-military objectives, but Western allies have raised concerns that the development and deployment of Iranian satellites could potentially contravene a United Nations Security Council resolution associated with the country's 2015 nuclear agreement with global powers. The apprehension stems from the technology's conceivable dual-use nature, which could inadvertently contribute to nuclear weapons development. It's important to note that the cassette rockets utilized to launch newer satellites rely on older liquid fuel technology and are not considered potent enough to function as intercontinental ballistic missile platforms. However, these launches, including the most recent one, have still raised concerns among Western allies. In 2020, the US issued a statement asserting that Iran's newer one satellite launch violated a United Nations Security Council resolution, explicitly prohibiting the regime from participating in activities related to ballistic missiles capable of delivering nuclear weapons, which encompasses launches utilizing ballistic missile technology like the cassette rocket. Sanctions were previously imposed by the US on Iran's space agency in 2019. Back in 2020, when Iran's Revolutionary Guard launched the newer one, the head of the U.S. Space Command described the satellite as a tumbling webcam in space with limited potential for critical intelligence. Nevertheless, this event underscored Iran's capacity to effectively reach orbit. It's evident that Iran is positioning itself to join the space race, a development that raises both regional and global security concerns. So, what do you think? Let's discuss in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content.